Hi guys, it's Danielle here and today is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, I just want to say I'm so thankful for all of you guys so much. I love you guys with all my heart. Um, and I don't know what I would do without you. So I wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving to everybody who is watching this. Hope you have an amazing day. I hope you eat a lot because I sure will be eating a lot. But I wanted to film a video today and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about that when I actually get into it. But first things first, um, if you watch my videos quite often, you would know I get swollen eyes. So if you guys can't tell, my eyes are swollen right now. I have glasses on. Love that for me. Anyways, we are going to get into it right now so I can tell you guys why I'm filming this video and why I'm posting it on Thanksgiving. Hey, hey, yeah, I know they always talk about us. It is like you really doing too much. Talk too much, online too much. First things first, today is Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving, we all know what Thanksgiving is. It's a day where you say your thanks, you know what you're thankful for, you spend time with your family, you eat a lot of food, you have a really good time. And I thought this year, I'm gonna be honest about what I'm thankful for. Um, you know, when people usually say what they're thankful for, they just say, oh, I'm thankful for um, having a good life. I'm thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for my boyfriend, my husband, my family, my mom, my dad. And those are all such good things to be thankful for. Everybody's thankful for those things. But this year, I think I'm thankful for a little bit more. And you're gonna see what I mean. Everybody, when they say what they're thankful for, it's always positive things. But people really don't realize that if it wasn't for those negative things that happen, they wouldn't be where they are right now. I wouldn't be where I am right now. Because if it wasn't for those negative things that happen and those things that put me down, I wouldn't be able to go back up and be even stronger than I was a year ago or even a couple months ago. So these things, I think I'm more thankful for right now. I'm, I'm a new person now. And if it wasn't for those things, I wouldn't be. So this year, I'm not going to be talking about, of course, at the end of the video, even I want to say some positive things I'm thankful for, but I thought that I would really just want to talk about, you know, some of the things that weren't so positive that happened to me that I'm thankful for, because like I said, if it wasn't for those, I don't know if I'd be the same, you know, I don't know. Of course, you know, we're not gonna say people's names, you know, sadly can't say people's names. Hey, right, let's go, okay? Um, you know, I had this idea and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a video. I don't wanna tell what I'm thankful for, but the things that I, people usually don't share what they're thankful for. Just to put this out there, if you have any similar things like this, I want you to write them down below. So if you need somewhere to vent or somewhere to say something that happened this year, it's almost the new year, you know, write it down. Tell me and tell me what happened. Vent to the comments, you know, nobody's going to judge you there. First things first, I'm going to talk about the friends that I lost that I'm beyond thankful for. So I think... I got super, super close with a friend this year. And I think that I was very thankful for that. You know, we got super, super close, but it didn't end well. You know what I mean? Like we were friends for so long. We were friends for like over four years, you know? And it didn't end well. It, I wish it did. I wish we were still friends, you know? I wish that we could still hang out like we used to. I wish we could still FaceTime every day, you know, like we used to, but that's not how it is anymore. And I have to accept that. But we spent so much time together this year, like especially this year. Um, and all the time we spent together, re together really brought us closer and it really made us become even like more best friends than we already were if that makes sense and i think that it was 
so just like in like the moment of everything going right i was like you know what nothing is ever gonna happen that's gonna be bad and you know it's a great year for me um and then everything <laughs> came falling down right before summer supper did i just say supper <laughs> i mean summer um literally everything just fell down um you know me and that person's friendship didn't really fall down in the beginning of summer kind of at the end of summer which even more sucked because i created this bond for the whole summer and the end of summer i don't know if i want to say the reason of this because it's honestly just so messed up but okay oh my god okay i just like I don't want to like throw people under the bus, you feel me? Like I'm not the type of person to. But sometimes when you pick people over your best friends, things don't end well. And that's what happened. You know, I wasn't as important as some other people that were more important and that were not even real friends. But him or her decided that I wasn't the person that was a good friend that these people were that just came into her life, hung out maybe once or twice, but they were relevant. They had a lot of numbers, you know? It's just, it's just how it goes. <laughs> um, so that's, yeah. But if it wasn't for that, I would have never, like, felt like being stabbed in the back, you know what I mean? I just, I would have never, like, felt how it felt to, like, just lose a friend, really, and just be, like, stabbed in the back, and, you know, that really, like, hurt, but at the same time, it was good for me because I was able to, like, feel it, you know, and I was able to see, like, what that feels like, um, because, you know, that's, you don't, go through that on an everyday basis. You don't lose a friend on an everyday basis. And when you do, you have to take it as a learning experience. So I'm, I'm very thankful for, you know, all the amazing times we did have together and all the laughs we had and all the, you know, just great talks we had, all the fun times. But I'm Asia. I'm even more thankful for the things that happened to us and the things that made us not be friends anymore because without those I would have I just would have never realized that those people weren't real friends or would have never realized that I deserve better friends than that even more it made me more mature as a person it made me grow up as a person it definitely made me realize that things aren't always fairy tales and um you know that that's something that you're gonna you're gonna learn sooner or later than you think um especially being a teenager you're gonna learn that a lot <laughs> hard situation but i'm very thankful for it because i learned a lot and made me realize so much and I'm just happy that I really got to learn all of that at a young age, you know? Um, I'm not even an adult yet, and I've learned all about that, so I'm really thankful for it. Um, so, yeah, thank you, ex-best friend. The next person I'm gonna talk about, my exes. I feel like I'm like saying like, I'm like saying thank you next right now. Like I'm like, okay, thank you this person. Thank you that person. Thank you for doing this to me. Like that's literally what I feel like. Um, I'm very thankful for my exes. They all have taught me some amazing things, you know, all in different ways. They've all kind of taught me a lot, I would say. But there's one particular ex that taught me a little bit more than I think like any other ex did and um you know i wouldn't really say that it was teaching me good stuff <laughs> it was almost teaching me bad stuff but those things helped me like in my like life now and, and 
what I do now and how I feel now and just you know many different things being in like not even a toxic but a toxic environment really messes up a relationship really messes up friendships it really messes up everything so while being around a bunch of toxic people it made our relationship 10 times worse and um you know that was really hard because um for me it was really hard because i looked at this person as like my first love you know and um i thought that i was so in love with this person i thought that i was so in love with this person i thought that they were going to be the person that i married and that's what you think a lot when you're in a teenage relationship and then when you break up you feel like your whole world is gonna go down i mean that that's kind of what happened actually um with this relationship and it taught me so much it taught me most importantly to know my worth because without that i would have still been just you know putting so many other people before myself and now i've learned that a relationship or being in a relationship or having a significant other isn't about putting yourself before them i mean isn't about like putting them before yourself a relationship should be about the love you have for that person you guys share so much love for each other that you're together and you guys are you know you're so happy together you know stuff like that and without those things it's not enjoyable and yeah you might love somebody where you can do anything for them or you put yourself before them but you shouldn't feel the need to do that and with this i felt the need to do that i felt like i had to put myself put him before myself um, and that was just, that was a really like hard thing for anybody to, you know, have to deal with. And the things that I went through because of it just really made me learn a lot. It made me learn that, like I said, knowing my worth, I'm never, ever going to let anybody treat me like that again. Like nobody should be treated like that. Maturity. It made my maturity go up. Like I would say from here to like here because I was so I was going through so much you know things that most 15 year olds don't have to go through most 30 year olds don't even have to go through like I was going through these things and you know it was like insane it was like an insane amount of crazy things that I was going through that just made my life at this time insane and it really helped me become mature um also I, you know, I didn't, like, I wouldn't say that I was confused with myself, but I really never knew who I was, you know? You don't really know who you are until you, like, find yourself. I think I found myself after this because um, it really taught me what I was capable of and what I can do and you know just a lot of things about myself i learned during this and it really taught me who i was so thank you for that so i'm very thankful for this because if it wasn't for that i wouldn't be where i was now i wouldn't be you know a better person now and it really made me a better person um and you know i'm not really thankful for the love in it because i wouldn't really say that it was like good love it was more like a bad toxic love that we had um but thank you to this person for making me be in a secret relationship because it made me have the idea to write secreto and if i didn't write secreto then me and ethan would have never started hanging out so thank you because you got me so many good things you got me my favorite song that i ever did and kind of made me and my boyfriend get super close but you know me and ethan we're gonna get close either way because five years of talking you're gonna get together at some point you know what i mean when I was with that person, I always thought I was in love, but I wasn't seeing, like, I wasn't looking at the things that he was doing. I wasn't looking at the way that I was being treated by not only him, but many other people in our relationship. I didn't realize that. And that's not love. That's not, you don't put somebody that you love through that. And, you know, 
it was a lot and I learned so much from it I learned so much like I became such a more mature person and such a more just I found myself I would say like after this I really found myself like I found who I wanted to be like I wasn't gonna be that girl anymore I was gonna be this girl and that's what I found um uh, also you know I just want to put that out there <laughs> thanks for making me be in a secret relationship because I came out with Secreto my new song which go check it out and it's my favorite song I ever released so thank you for making me be in a secret relationship because I had the idea to write that song so big thank you for that there is some messed up people in this world and that they will literally do so much stuff to you to make you just go down and all of that even the people that you thought were the closest people to you according to this person and you know what thank you thank you so much because now that I look back at my old relationship and my relationship now I say wow was I wasn't even in love I was in love with the feeling that I was in love if that makes sense like I wasn't in love I was in love because I thought I was in love. I was in love with thinking I was in love. You know, like when you're younger, you're like, oh my God, like I'm in love. But I wasn't actually in love. Like I just, I thought I was, but I wasn't. You know, and then I honestly thought that I was never, ever going to be with anybody else. <laughs> Cause at this time, you know, I just like, I wasn't really sure. Also, and back to Secreto, if I didn't make this song, I would have never asked my boyfriend, not my boyfriend at the time, to come and be in the album. Also, thank you, my ex, for that, because you kind of made me help me get in my new relationship. If it wasn't for me writing a song about our secret relationship, I wouldn't have found my new boyfriend. I'm just kidding. Well, for all my exes, you know, they all helped me learn something. But this one made me realize a lot. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? To all my enemies, I'm thankful for you because you try to put me down so much and I just keep getting back up and it's making you guys really mad and I freaking love it. So I just want to put that out there. So thank you. Thank you for giving me so much enjoyment. Now I'm going to talk about what I'm, what I'm really thankful, some positive things that I'm thankful. Starting off, I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my mom. She does everything for me. You know, she's an amazing mom and I love her so much. I'm thankful for my brother. I love him so much. I'm thankful for any family member that I have. My grandma, my grandpa, my uncles, my cousins, my aunts. If you guys are watching this, I love you all so much. And I'm so thankful for you. And thank you for standing by my side for this whole journey. Unlike some other family members that kind of just try to put me down. But thank you to you guys because you guys are so real and such good family to have and i'm so thankful for that my followers my supporters i wouldn't be sitting here making this video right now if it wasn't for you and that is amazing so thank you so much not just for giving me followers or not just for making me have a name on social media but thank you for loving me thank you for supporting me thank you for just being there anytime i ever I'm feeling down. I just go on my Instagram. I see you guys in edits and it makes me literally light up. So thank you to all of you guys because you guys are truly the most amazing people. And to all my haters, I love you too. I love you so much because you already know I I'm still getting those views when you guys watch my videos and hey, hey. <laughs> to my little doggies, my baby Silver, my baby Asia, my baby glacier my baby princess that ran away um well she i don't like talking about this but um we don't really know what happened to her but thank you princess thank you asia thank you glacier thank you silver my wonderful little babies um they're my dogs and my cats um they are the best animals in the world to have i love them so much and i wanted to save this one for last Ethan, thank you so much for showing me what it feels like to actually be in love. Thank you. If it wasn't for you, 
I honestly don't know. Just so amazing and you make me a better person and I think that I do the same for you and that's so amazing that we can do that for each other. So amazing that we have such a good bond and have only been dating for such a short period. Um, I think it's so great too that we've been getting to know each other for five years. <laughs> Thank you. I love you very much and I don't want to lose you ever. So hopefully I don't and hopefully you don't lose me because I think that we are very good together. <laughs> I love you, baby. That is the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to really just put it out there that it's okay to be thankful for some negative things that happen because honestly, you need to be. You need to be thankful for those things because you learn from them and you get a better person from those things. So that is the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell for more videos. Um, if you're new to my channel, this is not all I do. I do not just talk in all my videos. This is just a little Thanksgiving video I wanted to put out there. But happy Thanksgiving. Eat a lot of food. Have a great time with your family and your friends. And yeah. Um, I didn't film this on Thanksgiving, you know. I filmed this a couple days before. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing when this goes up. Because we're going to Big Bear for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Probably be having like a feast. And eating a lot of food <laughs> with my family and my friends. Um... But yeah, my cats are fighting. Very thankful for them, but they need to chill out sometimes. They be getting too hyper. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving.